So, hold on. We're going to talk about the church I just came back from. Um, First Baptist Church of Jonesboro. I liked the service. I liked seeing everything that they implemented. But being a young lady, we're going to put it back in the same place. Okay. First of all, eyes popping. Um, being a young lady who grew up in a Baptist church, I've had negative experiences from just the church uh, that it was. And, you know, I'm still taking the steps to go to church so that I can be a part of a Christian community, so that I can show God that I want to be present, so that I honor him by reaching out and going to his temple. Um, I can't do everything on my own at home. And I don't want to, you know, there's a community available to help support my journey of faith. And I'm looking for that. And I do think, you know, it's a church, you know, it doesn't, you don't need a specific church. You need to show the effort, show your heart. And there will be people there who will do that. I came to this church today because it's close to my area. I wanted to check it out. Um, and uh, my sister just has a connection here. So I'm like, oh, it must be a really good, I'm just going to see. Um, but I fell asleep in service and I just think I'm a part of a generation that is like, let's worship the Lord. Let's jump around. Like I went to passion for a while, passion city church, and they jump around and they scream and they raise their hands and it's always like a concert. And then I go to victory and it's very much new age gospel songs. So I come here and it's just different from what I've experienced recently and it's hymns. It's we love the Lord our Father thine who has given us all we need. Like we love the Lord our Father thine who has given us all we need. Like I can't do that there because someone will come up and be like sister you have to calm down. Um, and that's how I, you know, just show the Lord my love. So I am on a journey to find the church that will home my soul. And I know where that's at. And I need to get over the distance. Like, that's really it. And show my commitment to go. Because... It's also the sermon. The pastor is very good at speaking and preaching and getting across intentional message. But um, he just spoke in a way that didn't provoke much thought in me. I'm not trying to assume what his message was or what his lesson was, but it didn't provoke much thought in me. And I would like that when it comes to church. It's difficult to find where you need to be to be received. And I'm trying to surrender and submit and not be judgmental because wherever God is, I want to be. I'm just, you know, a little triggered by how close it was to my previous church. Um, I want intentional ordained teachers that are going to help me grow and feed me solid food and not milk. Um, and I'm just contemplating, you know, I'm not saying no, I'm not saying yes. I do want to continue investing in this place, but I do want to find a church home soon. And I'm just praying and kind of you know, sitting down and asking God, like, Lord, show me where your presence is at. Show me where you desire me to go and help me be intentional about being present and going there. Um, so overall, I'm glad I came. Overall, it was a good experience, but it helped me understand where I need to be. And unfortunately, it's just not here. And we're going to continue to pray to God about it. And my phone is getting hot on this dashboard. And the curls probably have like two more days. I'll probably do a braided crown to keep them intact. But thank you so much for just listening to me ramble. And
and keep me in your prayers for where God is taking me so that I can bring you along and give you encouragement on where he can take you as well. There's a place for all of us.